Hello and welcome back to another episode of Isilon Quick Tips. Today I want to talk about smart quotas. Smart quotas gives you the ability to set quotas on how much data certain directories, users, or groups can go through. So you'll find it under our file system and smart quotas. It is a license feature, so you do have to have it licensed. I have it enabled on this cluster. And very straightforward, let's go ahead and create a storage quota and talk about our options. Like I was saying, you have the ability to set it at the directory level, and with directories, you can actually do it as a directory, subdirectory. You can filter it down just like you can with your sync IQ policies or your snapshots. You also have the option to do a user quota, and those can be applied to all users, or you can actually set it down to individual users if you want. And then you also have the option to do group quotas, and you can set those groups on your group users. I want to walk through just setting up one on a directory quota. I feel like this is the most popular one and the one that's most applicable in a lot of use cases. And so like I said, we can set those at the directory and subdirectory level. So we can come in here and set one on our HDFS directory. Go ahead and set that policy up. So for our usage accounting, you can actually set it to include your snapshot data. And then you can also set it to include that data protection overhead. So this is really giving you a true value of how much storage is being taken up by this group of users or these directories. And so if you're thinking about doing it from an accounting perspective where you're charging back to your users, you might want to use this kind of accounting where you're saying, hey, you know, it's, it's not just about the space that you're taking up, but it's the data protection overhead, how we're protecting the data, and then also the snapshots of the data as well. I'm not going to select any of those, but we are going to come down to the usage limits. And so this is the area where you can actually set those limitations. So you can set it up to be a no usage limit. And what that is, is that's just an accounting feature. So if you're saying, hey, you know what? We don't really want to set limits on our users, but we do want to know from an accounting perspective, how much data is being used on this specific smart quota. In our case, it would be all the data that's being used on IFS forward slash HDFS directory. So how much is our Hadoop storage infrastructure taking up? Well, let's talk about setting up a specific usage limit. And so we have three different options with the usage limits. The first one is the advisory limit, and I call this the nice guy limit. So if you set an advisory limit, this gives you the ability to come in and let's just say that we, you know, we're setting it up for 10 terabytes and you know, our users are you know, capped at 10 terabytes and it's just gonna send them notifications whenever they go over that limitation. It's not gonna stop them from writing and it's you know, not gonna give them any kind of grace period. And that's why I call this one the nice guy. The next one is the kind of tough guy and that's our soft limit. And so a soft limit actually gives you a grace period. So we can come in here on our directory and we can set it just like we were in our advisory and set it to 10 terabytes and say, you know what, we're actually gonna give them a grace period of you know, 14 days. And so what that is, is gonna allow them 14 days through giving them notifications to clear up and get their data back under you know, 10 terabytes or you know, however you're setting it up for you to go back in and say, okay, you know, 10 terabytes, you've went over that you know, I'm going to give you five more terabytes or something like that. But it's, you know, that's just the kind of tough guy because it's like, okay, you don't have to stop right now, but at some point in the future, you're going to, and you get to set that grace period. The next one is what I call the tough guy, and that's the hard limit. And so the hard limit is not going to let you write any, any data past it. And so, you know, we can come back in, set our 10 terabyte threshold and say, hey, you know, anything over 10 terabytes, you're just not allowed to write. You know, you have to pick up the phone and call us. We have to, you know, come in here and actually take that quota and bump it up for you if you need to but it also gives you the option to show the different space available too. So one of the things that I would recommend if you're doing this hard limit for your users is to go in and let them be able to see what that hard threshold is versus the size of the cluster. Cause you want them to be able to say, Hey, you know, there's only 10 terabytes available, but now there's only, you know, two terabytes left. We're bumping up to that limit versus if they're just looking at the size of the cluster, they're probably thinking, Oh, you know, we're good. We can keep storing. And then one day they're, you know, they're not able to save something and they don't know why. So just my recommendation. And then last but not least, you have the option for these notifications. So if you want to disable the quota notifications, use you know, default roles, or you can actually set up your own custom rules. So you just go through and create your quota here. Now you have your quota set up for your HDFS directory. Well, thanks for joining me in this Isilon Quick Tips, and I hope to see you again soon.